a man who I basically grew up with, uh, Gerald Dragon, the captain of Captain and Tamil, died at 76. Yeah, just about 20 years older than me uh, t today. Uh, due to, uh, well, I don't want to get into why he died, but um, he did. But I remember him most for a song that came out in November 1974 called Love Will Keep Us Together. And love, love will keep us together. Think of me, babe, whenever. And I've heard so many, I heard that song so many times, so many variations of it, right? That it's not, it's not funny. It's a beautiful song. And it launched the Captain and Tennille to stardom. And they had this great shtick where Tony Tennille was this, and I would guess still is, a lovely, effervescent woman, excellent singing talent, personality just all over. And then here comes Daryl Dragon as the Captain being, well, straight-laced, expressionless, and one heck of a piano player. That's right, one heck of a piano player. Uh, the Captain and Tennille were part of a group of, a kind of a fam family or familial group of performers that uh, were active during the 70s that were, uh, I think as Quincy Jones might call them, kind of um, bubblegum pop, you know? And we had the Jackson Five, which later became uh, Michael Jackson. And we had the Partridge family, and we had the Captain and Tennille. And they group saying songs that uh, span the generations. I mean, for the Jackson 5, of course, it's, you know, I'll Be There or ABC. And for Partridge Family, it's, um, well, the Partridge song, right? You know, hello world, there's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy, right? I love that song. Uh, or Sunshine Day, there's another one, right? And then, of course, the Captain and Tennille with Love will keep us together. So, um, wow. Is my life just flashing before my... No, it's not. At any rate. <laughs> um, Dra Daryl Dragon. A gigantic signpost on the zeitgeist of life and American culture. He will be dearly missed.